Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about Day of the Dead and how we can connect with our loved ones who have passed away. Thanks for joining everybody, my name is Carolina. As you know, I focus on doing children's books like these right here that promote love, unity, and peace, and I also help my followers interpret their dreams. The reason I do this is because when we listen to our dreams, we're connecting with our subconscious, and when we share them, we connect with one another on a more profound level. So let's go ahead and get started with the topic of today, Day of the Dead. You know that's coming up in like a week and a couple of days. So if you're like me, you're probably already beginning to celebrate. You're already beginning to get your items together for the altar. For those of you that don't really know what Day of the Dead is, that is simply a day, a celebration where we remember the loved ones that have passed away. We celebrate them, we remember them, we talk about memories that we had with them. And of course we have the very traditional altar where we have their picture, we have all of their favorite things. Oftentimes we even make their favorite food and eat it specifically in their memory, right? So it's a really, wonderful a wonderful experience a wonderful celebration that the whole family can take action in so first of all i want to share with you that you can make this connection with your loved ones anytime that you want in dream state now i know some of you dreamers have had dreams before with loved ones that have passed away and you've been fearful you've been kind of scared to have that connection but i want to bring some peace and love to that conversation today because i want to remind us that we can always make this connection and it can always be a loving one but it always depends on how we are feeling when we go to bed okay let me kind of explain that if we're going to bed and if we're feeling already kind of nervous, if we've got some insecurities, if we're feeling a little bit scared, okay, then whenever we go to bed at night, if we have a dream, if we have any kind of connection, it's going to be sustained with this fearful energy. So we want to make sure just point blank before we even go to bed that we move into that loving, peaceful energy. That way we can have those loving dreams, those guiding dreams. Now, if you want to connect with your loved ones in dream state, it's very easy to do that. We just have to set the intention. But now, it's very important that before you set your intention, you move to that energy we just talked about, that loving place, that peaceful place, okay? Now, once we're able to move to this place of love, this place of peace, then we want to set our intention. And by this, all we have to say is we close our eyes and we can say the following. I welcome the universe to connect me with my loved ones who have passed away to provide some guidance. That's all you have to say, and you can personalize the statement to whatever it is that connects best with you. But before you say your intention to the universe, you wanna make sure that you're in that loving state because what's gonna happen after you set your intention, the universe is going to respond to you, right? It's going to show you either an image of your loved one, maybe you'll have a whole conversation with them, maybe you'll receive some guidance, okay? And if you go to bed with that loving, wonderful energy, then the information you will get back, you will see through those little eyes, through those lenses of love. But if you go to bed and you're feeling kind of fearful and then you set your intention, then your fear is what's sustaining this dream. Your fear is what's sustaining this energy. So you just want to be, excuse me, you just want to make sure that before you set your intention, you're in that loving, peaceful state. All right. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing I want to tell you about the importance of Day of the Dead is that once this day comes, it is just such an amazing time and an amazing moment for these connections. Why? Because everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people, a lot of people are going to be uh, celebrating this. They're going to be celebrating this. They're going to be talking about the loved ones that have passed away. They're going to be wanting to make these connections. They're going to be eating the foods of their loved ones, etc. We're going to be talking about them. We're going to be putting that energy out into the universe. And like, you know, the universe will respond. So if a lot of us are making this intention, to connect with our loved ones who have passed away. Um, if we are all kind of sinking in that same energy, then we can just accept that this day is going to be one of love and one of unity where we're able to make these connections even more so because everybody is adding to that energy. So just know that it's okay to connect with your loved ones any night that you want, any single night you have the power within you to do that. But it's very special during this time of celebration for Day of the Dead because so many other people are doing it. So it's very possible that you will have some amazing magical dreams with various loved ones and various family members 
So go ahead and start preparing yourself for this by moving into loving energy, by giving yourself more love, by giving yourself more peace. So that way, when you go to bed at night, you sustain this dream with that loving and peaceful energy. Now, this celebration would not be complete without celebrating it with the kids. So this is such a perfect time to talk to the kids about how important this celebration is because this is an opportunity to connect with those loved ones that have passed away, to celebrate them, to talk about all of the accomplishments they made, all of all the contributions they made to the family. So a good way to do this is you can connect with the kids with Day of the Dead through our little book of Lupita and the Magic of Mexico. As you recall, Lupita goes back to Mexico with her mother. She starts exploring, looking for all the magical things Mexico has to offer. And I won't give you everything, but I will say that Lupita runs into a magical, magical parade. And this is a parade of Day of the Dead. So if you read this book with your kids, this will be a great kind of opener to talk about Day of the Dead, what it means and how we celebrate it. And of course, something I like to do with the kids after we read this book is I like to do a little art project with them. Sometimes I ask the kids to paint the loved one that's passed away that they miss. Uh, sometimes I ask them to uh, do a painting of maybe a, a little a little dog, a little pet that passed away. You know, whatever it is that comes to the kids during that time, it's important that they're able to have an outlet. So I find that having an art project after reading the book is something that really helps uh, engrave this importance, the importance of the Day of the Dead and the importance of the Latino, uh, Latinx Hispanic culture. So I invite you to do that with them. But also, this is the last thing I will say. I want to let you know that we're going to be working with Revista Latina NC and that is one of the um, Latino magazines here in North Carolina and we're going to help them with their ofrenda which is their altar okay we helped them last year with the altar and it was such a magical and wonderful experience because we were there in person we were you know completely dressed to the celebration of Day of the Dead and we were helping set up the entire altar with them so this year is going to be a little bit different because we're going to do it all virtually but I want to let you know that I have specific two specific little art pieces that I am going to be sharing with them to put on the altar. So we're going to have a video of that later. I will share the link with you once it's available. It'll be available during the time of Day of the Dead. But I welcome you today to begin moving yourself into that loving energy, into that accepting energy, because it's such a great time to start getting there so that way when we begin to have these dreams when we begin to have these connections with our loved ones who have passed away we can sustain it in such a loving and peaceful way for ourselves and that's where we're going to get the real information and the real guidance from our loved ones anyways so i send you a huge hug everybody i appreciate all of your love i appreciate all of your support i welcome you to connect with us offline and of course to order our books of lupita and the magic of mexico or lupita and her magical dreams but i send you a huge hug everybody i send you love, unity, and peace, and we will be in contact. Bye, everybody.